Bypass mode is a setting on the Starlink router that allows you to use your own third-party router with Starlink. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on bypass mode for the Gen 3 standard and Gen 2 standard actuated models. I'm Colby from StarlinkHardware.com. Let's jump right on in. So what is bypass mode and why would you even want to turn it on? Well, bypass mode allows a third-party router to take over all the network management duties on your system. It turns off the Wi-Fi from the Starlink router and disables all the routing functions like DHCP, handing out IP addresses, etc. It basically just turns the Starlink router into a power supply for the dish. With how Starlink is designed, you can't just take the Starlink router out of the system because it powers the dish. But bypass mode gives you a way to use your own router without running into some of the network issues that can be caused by having two routers on the same network. To bypass the Starlink router, you will obviously need a third-party router. In this video, I'm using the Eero Pro 6E mesh system, but pretty much any router will work with Starlink. I'll put a link in the description for some of the routers that I recommend. For the Gen 3 standard system, you don't need any other accessories, as the Gen 3 router already has a couple of Ethernet ports on the back. If you have the Gen 2 standard actuated system, you will need to purchase the Starlink Ethernet adapter accessory to gain access to an Ethernet port. It costs $25 and you can buy it directly from the Starlink website. We'll start with instructions for the Gen 3 standard system. Take the cover off of the back of the Gen 3 router to expose the two Ethernet ports. Take the Ethernet patch cable that comes with your router, plug it into one of the Ethernet ports on the back of the Starlink router, and then take the other end and plug it into the WAN or internet port on the back of your third party router. If you have the Gen 2 standard actuated system, the process is similar. Take your patch cable, plug one end into the Starlink Ethernet adapter that's connected to your router, and then take the other end and plug it into the WAN or internet port on your third party router. Next, you'll need to configure the settings for your third party router if you haven't done so already. Refer to the user manual for your specific router model. These days, setup is usually handled through an app on your phone. For my Eero router, for example, I just had to download the app and then it walked me through a step-by-step -step setup procedure. Super easy. You'll set a network name and password and any additional settings that you want. After you've completed the setup process, connect to the Wi-Fi network of your third-party router to make sure you have internet access and that everything's working okay. Now we'll need to enable bypass mode. Open up the Starlink app, scroll down to Settings, scroll down to Bypass Mode, and then once you're here, go ahead and slide that toggle to the right to enable Bypass Mode. You'll need to hit OK to confirm that you're sure you want to enter Bypass Mode. But as you'll see here on the main app screen, the router is visible at first, but then it disappears as the Wi-Fi network goes offline because of Bypass Mode. At this point, the Starlink Wi-Fi network from the Starlink router should not be visible in your Wi-Fi settings on your phone. You should only have the Wi-Fi network from your third-party router. You'll want to double check that you're connected to that network and that you have internet access just to make sure everything's working properly. If it is, you're done. That's all there is to it. You can still use the Starlink app to manage the dish settings. You just won't see any of those Starlink router specific settings. If you ever need to disable bypass mode, you have to perform a factory reset on the Starlink router. For the Gen 2 router, just power cycle the router six times in a row by unplugging and replugging the power cord. On the Gen 3 router, there's a reset button on the back right in between the two ethernet ports. Just use a paper clip to press the button to factory reset the router. Well, that'll do it for this video on bypassing the Starlink router. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure you check out our website, www.starlinkhardware.com, for more tutorials, Starlink news, and other kinds of information. We have a ton of stuff on the site. Make sure you also subscribe to our email newsletter to never miss out on any of the latest Starlink news. Thanks for watching.